Okay, Fred. So the key to the bush muffler came off the stock muffler, or came off the stock saw, and it's gone on the iron horse big big bore, okay? The one me and the claw put on the cylinder head, okay? And now this one has come off my XPW that's been sitting in storage, just kicking back, taking her easy. Um, it's been sitting on there. Yeah, so that original muffler from like years ago, the original one, Bear Claw's design, is going off of my XPW onto this stock Except on Max. XP, 372 XP. came to me out of the factory which is a little bit rich and the jets were tunable so that thing's gonna be a different time. This is not a splitting axe. But I put it together, I've had this head for, oh gosh almighty. Do you know where this head came from, friends? Do you guys remember that that Willard, Willard Greenfeld? Hey, Willard, listen, um, I love you guys, you and Di, for starters. Um, you were asking on the live feed, the live feed was crazy, but you were asking, will do, about Wendy's work situation through, through, the, through this thing that we've been going through. Um, she decided not to go back to work. She didn't want, she only was working one day a week, one, two days a week anyways. And she decided to not go back to work because of having to wear a mask and she doesn't have to go back to work. She hasn't had to work since my tree service started doing well years ago. Um, so, so I saw your, your comment right at the end there. And, uh, but she was so intent on, on doing her job. I didn't want to butt in on her. And that was the first time that she was done that for us. And I, and I just didn't want to step on her toes. And I was going to text you. So, Will Do, we love you and die. And, and you, you've been here. Friends, Will Do, Willie Greenfeld was, uh, Willard Greenfeld was a man who came and took on some of the hardest tasks on the bunker, the build, like hanging the door, the little roof over. Willard, you are, dude, I love you, buddy. I, I do. Um, he came and brought those axes to me. I bought those bunch of axes in Washington, I think it was. He came and we fixed that old Mac that we got going. It was the freaking condenser, remember, Will Do? Man, what a good guy you are. So anyways, I wanted to answer that for you. So we're here. And uh, this wood is not real log splitter wood, friends. We got the log splitter. It's been great to keep it here. There is some bigger wood down below, but uh, it, it's time. Oh, it looks like there's a chunk of hemlock in there. So there's, there's a fair good jag left here, but I want to get it bucked, y you see? So we, we filled up again there. So it's time to either move the splitter or, or um, you know what I mean? That's the thing about this machine. You've got to think smart with it. The access, it's a, it's a killer machine. Like it just is, it's killer. I love this unit. Um, anyway, we've kept it tarped and that because of the weather we've been into, but I'm thinking about, uh, thinking about moving this thing again. But I'm gonna get at this. We're gonna get bucking this and, and uh, get it processed so we can pull out of here. So I'm just about to dig in, right? Okay, yeah, 
Exactly. Hey? Sorry. There. <laughs> I'm behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. So there's our little stock Husqvarna power saw with a 28 inch bar. Same one we were uh, running the other day with that uh, key to the bush muffler. I put it on another iron horse saw, my one that me and Bearclaw swapped the head out on, the 371, so it's on that. But friends, I, I would be a fool to just start cutting. It, it's, it's foolish. You, you've got to address the logs as they come out. I was here when this was logged. I fell the timber, so I know that this was dragged through the dirt. So I got to pick my way through this stuff. So I'm just going to go at it. You guys can check it out. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of talking. Um, yeah, maybe you can pick up something as I go bucking or... Or, or, or pick up something through the process of me bucking in a, in a, in a cold deck uh, situation like this. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. We've got, we've got a, I got the original bear claw muffler on this saw. The, the original one from years ago. From back in my, go back, go back five years ago, friends, six years ago, and check out videos like fallen timber, uh, uh, cutting timber on a, on a, side hill or stuff like that fallen trees felling timber all that this muffler you'll hear it what it sounds like on a ported saw So I just do a little setup here. I take a thought process and I go, I'm not cutting on the ground. I always put these logs coming off this cold deck on top of something for a few different reasons. Tin man, look, two angles. Angles. Tin man, look, two angles. 
Iron horse saw. Iron horse saw. Key to the bush muffler. I'm just gonna crack. No, I guess I better stick to my plan. Bit of sand, not too bad. This one's pretty low to the ground, so I'm just gonna buck it in the guts and throw it out. There's a method for this stuff, friends. There is a method.
All right, this log's right on the ground, so I'm getting it out. Well, it's a full log. I just go and I bucket in the guts and I toss it out. I've done this lots when they hit the dirt like this. a falcrum, fulcrum, whatever, however you want to call it. <laughs> there it is. I'm there. So now I'm up. See? And it is muddy, friends. Like, right muddy. Yeah. See? Here we go. Now I'm out. There we go. So... I think I'll use a, I'll put this here for falcrum. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm always thinking that step ahead, friends. Watch, watch what happens now. I'm gonna go for this guy. I'm not going for the big one. I'm going for this guy. Here we go. Perfect. That's the nice thing about the aluminum. See, I'm, I'm completely up in the air now. I can literally buck this thing. Vintage saw lovers, be prepared. This is a hot rod that just come to me from the iron horse. And I am excited. I just, I work in smooth and I put this thing to work.
beautiful iron horse that is a glorious saw to run <laughs> it, it, it's a i'm getting a better feel for it and it's got like a weird chain on it look i'll show it to you look at see two skip two skip two skip it's not a full house chain and this saw will pull full house and this is just i think it's like one grind in or something so <laughs> yeah Yes, lovely Iron Horse. Thank you for doing this for me, buddy. Seriously, Iron Horse. You, you're one of the only dudes and Tin Man that will work with me on these crazy ideas. And I, I appreciate the living heck out of it. I just do. Not everybody's, they're not willing to do it. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. You got to know your customer. You got to know your builder. You say, if something blows up, it blows up. We'll deal with it. We'll get another one. We'll fix it. We'll do something else. <laughs> Anyways. I like that the second day better I ran it. I like it better today than I did the other day that I ran it, Iron Horse. Hey? Tin Man, how you doing? We're getting down on that pile, friends.
Okay, that's that. She's all bucked. You guys are probably dead though, eh? No, nope, you're not, you're still alive. Done. 20 minutes. We got a lot of footage, holy cow. I'm gonna have to cut this. I got some dead, couple of small dead logs I gotta clean up. muffler right there that's what you're looking at and these things work let me freaking tell you that's what sparked all this craziness on the internet before that muffler you never saw too much of that stuff i remember friends it was fun <laughs> anyway that's it we're done we're done thanks for joining me that was a lot of bucking but it had to get done Here we go now we put this thing to work over now It's Reed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Reed. Now, somebody tells me that you've been watching the Buck and Billy Ray Smith YouTube channel, Reed. Is this what I'm to believe? Is this a true story? Are you in school, little man? Is that what you're doing? Because if you are, you've got a huge opportunity. A huge opportunity. You're the future, young man. You get to be nice to people. See, because the younger generation is, you ever hear that? The youth is our future. Do you ever hear that one, Reed? Your mom or your dad ever tell you that? Well, it's true. The young people coming up are now, have such a huge, it's not a responsibility, Reed. It's an opportunity, which is a good thing because you can make a choice to do it. And that is not engage in anything negative, my friend, right? And just be nice to folks, help people do things, help your mom and pa out, right? Just be nice and know that you're a special young man because the big fella creates us all individually and we're all made perfect, every single one of us, absolutely perfect. You could say perfectly imperfect sometimes. But anyways, buddy, I just wanted to give you a little message because uh, I'm so happy that you watch my channel. Your mom will have a look at this and your dad and they'll see if it's okay for you to see this. But again, my friend, you do, you, you have a huge, a huge opportunity to just be nice wherever you go and help people out. And maybe we can shift it, make a shift and everybody can start being kind to one another. I think that's a pretty good plan myself. I'm going to keep going for it. I'll see you on the next video, Reed. Be kind, young man.